Instead of asking the state of an object and then acting on that state, we should tell an object what to do. This means that we move behavior into an object. So this is a quote from one of uh, Alex Sharp's book, which is the small talk by example. So he says, procedural code gets information, then makes decisions. Object-oriented code tells objects to do things. So this is one. So in terms of diagrams, we have this. Not so good way, not so good approach is to have the logic in a separated file and then ask for the state of an object. The state will come back and then you act on that state. So instead of having this, you would prefer to just have class A that tells class B to do something for you. And then class B, of course, has the logic, it has the state, the data, it has everything to do exactly what you want. Anyway, so let's go back to the editor and let me create a user class because, of course, we need some code. So in this user class, all I have to do for now is to create a public is active and I will set this to true. Of course, you can have this as private or protected and then create a getter, but I will keep this simple. So I will also create an index file. Let me include this uh, user file. So include user.php. So what I want to do is to create a new user, okay? So Renato equals to new user. And of course, because the is active is public, we can access this property. So if Renato is active, echo user is active, else echo user is not active. Okay, so what happens here? Here, what is going on is what we have in, the, in this diagram. So we have the logic in the index file, as you can see here, this is the logic, and we are asking the user class, which has the state, so the user class has the state, which we care about whether the user is active or not, so this is our state, so the user class has the state, so we are asking for the state, and then information comes, comes back and we act accordingly. Right, so we check if the user is active. If the user is actually active, we print this message. Otherwise, we say that the user is not active. So this, of course, will work. So if I try to run this, of course, you get back user is active, as you see here. And if I change true to false, you should get user is not active. So this kind of code works. But in terms of design, it is not correct because the code here is not object oriented. The code is, is procedural. We're asking for the state of an object and then we act accordingly. You can go with this. It is not a big issue. But when the system, when the application, your project gets bigger and bigger, this kind of, you know, code will get messy. And the thing is that if you if you can eliminate your if statements, then go ahead and do that. In this case, we cannot really eliminate the if statement, the if else. However, we can get rid of it from this index file, and this is important. So instead of asking for the state, which in our case, the state is whether the user is active or not, we should tell the class to do something for us. In this case, we want the user class to tell us whether the user is active or not. There is no need to have this kind of logic in this index file, which of course it could be a class instead or whatever. So this approach, again, it is not wrong. However, it is badly designed in terms of object oriented programming. So when working with conditionals, whenever you can and it is suitable, Tell and don't ask. Tell objects what you want them to do. Don't ask them for, for the state and then make decisions according to the state. The object should be responsible for the logic, not the color.